Hello and a warm welcome to the stadium. Many of the supporters now inside the ground and ready for kickoff. These two big teams ready to lock horns. And many of the spectators just grateful to have got here in time after traffic chaos on the buses and the trains. Thanks, Sean. It'd be great to see loads of goals here tonight. I think there's a chance of that, you know. Forget the group stage. It's knockout football in the UEFA Champions League from here on in. They have it all to do now after that loss in the first leg. Well, this game's really tight. I think they have to be very canny today. The coaches have been through the tactical approach to this game so many times in their minds. Cut inside. Brings a corner. To the target in the centre. Bonera, Zambrotta, Rolando, space for a shot, so comfortable with it, poor ball picked off, who said? Oh, gives it away. That is slack defending. Who said? Milevsky. That's a trip. Referee says, calm it down. It's easy for him to say. Great ball over the top. Rolando, Pielo, Seydorf, the tireless worker, and Jankolovsky, wins possession to stop the attack, Husev, the defender cuts this one out, it's a very good block tackle, 15 minutes gone in the first half, Seydorf, right into the space behind the defence, but chance, oh, he'll take some stick for that, I think he's just chanced his arm, Rolando, dealt with the threat well, Rolando threads it through the dip punched behind the goal by the keeper that'll be a corner plays it on the ground Gattuso can he hit the target well, he's hit better shots than that in his time, I'm sure. El Cadore. Moved the ball well from one side to the other. Just over 15 minutes remaining in the first half. Well found there, and they pressed hard, looking for this opening goal. Rolando. Wonderful defending. 
and he chooses the option of the back pass. Rolando. It's a solid block by the defender. Giovane. Through ball over the top. Needs a good cross. It's a big opportunity with a corner. Oh, it's been given a bit of height. Picks up the clearance. Rolando. The defender quick to see this one. Here's Hussein. Oh, he needs some help in the box. Concede to throw in a dangerous position too. Let's see what they can do with this then. An angled cross. And he's going for it. It's wide. Well, quite honestly, that would have changed the course of the game. Nesta, Bonera, Pirlo has great ability to retain possession under pressure. Now what? Now, can he get the cross in? And a shot! Blocked by the defender. That's way off target. Really poor effort. Well, we know this game needs a goal. That was almost it. Would have been a good time to score as well. The referee looks at one watch, then at his other watch. The whistle is coming any second. Giovanni. The half-time whistle goes and the players head in for a break. What will the managers have to say to their respective teams after these performances, I wonder? The second half then gets underway with everyone hoping for another 45 minutes of entertaining football here. Stalemate in the first half. This game pretty evenly balanced. El Cadore. Milevsky. It's a very, very good challenge. Had to be perfectly timed. The keeper comes and takes the ball. Giovanni. El Cadore caught him there, free kick. Looking for wits. Who save? Chance! To be fair, the keeper might have seen that late because it wasn't that convincing a save. Well cleared away though. And they've really stepped up the pace here. Can he get the cross in? Caught in defence. Real chance here. Needs a good cross. Who said? The danger is snuffed out. And now the break could be on at the other end.
and he's in here. And now a shot. Men waiting in the centre. Whistle goes, the assistant referee has his flag up. Timed his run just a little too early. Rolando. Zambrotta. Can he find the target in the middle? It's well defended. Behrens picked up, might have a dig from here. That's better. He scored, and they've broken the deadlock at long, long last. A slender lead, but one established at a crucial time. In more than one way, it was the right foot. Know what I mean? They've certainly taken the game to the opposition today, and you can't see them throwing it away now. Leading by a goal to nil now as we get underway once again. Wow, what a huge goal that could be. They're level, but thanks to the way goals rule, they could go through. Looks like fresh legs are about to be introduced. Zambrotta. Out wide. There's a chance. There's the goal. One or two of the defenders arguing amongst themselves. Someone should have dealt with it. And they've doubled their lead with a really nice goal. Well, he timed his run to perfection. He was strong goal after some tremendous build-up play and just had to run onto it to slot it past the keeper. That takes his tournament tally to four goals. Looks like he wants to change things round at this point. 2-0 up, and they are starting to look very comfortable. Well, that's a goal to the good on the aggregate score, but they can't afford to be pegged back. We're into the final quarter of an hour. Rolando. And he finds his man in space. And there could be more to add. The manager has decided to ring a few changes here. And he has it back. Chipped over the top. Now possibility down the flank. Corner it is. Here comes the in-swinging corner. A long-range effort. They have another scoring opportunity. It's to the near post. They're under pressure here. That's heading towards the near post. Needs a sight of goal. Header two. That's the difference between success and failure. Bonera. Nesta. Exchange of passes. Finding their men well. And Jankalovsky. Here's Kaladza. Here's Seydorf. The keeper didn't hang back, but came forward and made the ball his. El Cadore. Oh, 
Only one minute to be added. Stop the attack dead then. Gattuso. Jankolovsky. And Seydor. That's good defending. So that's it. The final whistle. As usual, the team showed plenty of grit and drew on the vociferous support from their supporters. They were superb. Almost a 12th man out there. No surprises here. It was business as usual for them. They came into the fixture as hot favourites and we could soon see why. And with that, it's time for me to thank my co-commentator, Mark Lawrence.